Hi everyone, Bowser is here and on this fine snowy March day we're going to upgrade my rig for streaming purposes. And to address the main question, yeah I do have boss, so my human will do all the work. It's going to be a partial upgrade, thus let's do a quick review of what do we have here. Let me just take off this panel first. Here you go. A Zeus P8Z77V Deluxe motherboard with 16GB of Corsair Vengeance 1.6GHz RAM, a Zeus GTX 1070 Overclock Edition and the last Asus Pad Zoner DX Soundcard. Behind the Cooler Master Hyper, uh, I'm not sure about the version, Cooler is hiding Intel 3770K which is overclocked to 4.2GHz and it does still perform quite nicely but you can feel that it is bottlenecking in some situations. All of this is powered by my relatively recent purchase, Thermaltake Tough Power Grand 850W power supply, which is kinda neat cause it's certified as 80 plus gold but has power efficiency levels almost similar to platinum ones. The chassis is Thermaltake as well, it's core B71 with 3 200mm fans, I've also threw in a couple of Corsair 120mm ML fans and 140mm one. There's a slight problem with this case that for me those 200mm monsters are way too loud and each time you start up your PC you need to switch the speed to low cause setting is not stored on the controller. Hopefully I'll be able to fix this with the new motherboard. Oh, almost forgot, I have two SSDs, one is OCZ Vector 3120 with the system and the other one is Western Digital Blue 500 gigs for games and also two drives for 2 and 4 terabytes, Western Digital Red and Blue for storage. Enough about that, let's switch it off and move to the new stuff. Motherboard, Gigabyte Z390 Aorus Master. Let's do a quick unboxing here. Maybe I will cut some of this out, cause I don't want this video to be too long. So the motherboard looks pretty cool, it's quite heavy and looks much more premium than my current one. So the thing which should help me here with the chassis fans is that it has 6 fans connectors. By the way, wanted to go with the ASUS Maximus series, but after watching hardware unboxed video I've changed my mind. Won't go into details and we'll leave the link in the description. So what else do we have here? Some Aorus stickers, a disk with drivers, actually I do have a DVD drive but I obviously will download the latest versions of the drivers from the internet. Always download your drivers from the official websites. A manual with some other stuff and a small hardback sticker. Mm, lots of stuff in here. This one I guess for an RGB LED. Couple of SATA cables, one of which is straight and the other one is left angled a couple more of LED connectors and another pack of SATA cables, several thermal sensors, well just two of them actually, G connector to connect your well LEDs, power button, speaker etc. Lots of screws packed in separate bags for unknown reasons and I'll what are they for actually? We'll look in the manual later on. A couple of straps for cable management, a Wi-Fi antenna which is another reason why I got this motherboard because I use Wi-Fi on my PC. And I guess it's a high bandwidth FLI connector. And that's all, let's move on. As you might have guessed already, I went with Intel processor again, 8700K to be precise. Why not AMD? Well, 
it's certainly better for multi-threading tasks like gaming and streaming but if streaming won't work out for me, Intel does still have an advantage in pure gaming due to higher core clocks. Let's put it right away into the motherboard. Could have gotten the 9700K, but it's too weird. It's like in hyper-threading, which is something new for a 7 lineup. By the way, I liked Gamer's Nexus review on this matter. And 9900K was just over my budget. Memory is once again 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance, but 3.2 gigahertz this time planning to expand it to 32 gigs in the future. I also decided to try out NVMe, so I got Samsung 970 EVO with 250 gigs on board. Hopefully I'll be able to move my system there, cause I'm way too lazy to reinstall it again. Well, let's also put it straight away into the motherboard. I guess it should go over here. Why it's not getting in here? Ah, got it. Okay, let's put the heating back on. I hope we're doing everything correctly. Oh, it looks fine to me. Well, we'll know it when I'll fire it up. Hopefully everything will be okay. And as for cooling, we'll be using Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. And it's a huge beast, performing like a water cooling system in terms of noise level and thermals. Oh, Here we have all the stuff we need to mount it. Here's a second cooler, we'll need to plug it in uh, later on. And also we have a screwdriver here, it's pretty awesome. So, it's time to build it up. Okay, I'll start with the backplate. I'm really not sure which screws we need to use. Let me check with manual. Ah, I forgot one important part. We need to put these rubber bands under the plate. So we won't damage the motherboard while we are tightening the cooler itself. So Part of the process was cut out, cause my phone records only 8 minutes of video per clip, I didn't know that actually, um, but there was nothing interesting there. So currently we're mounting up the phone brackets. Now let's put the RAM in, mm, I'll put the first one in the first slot. Because it's most likely be covered by the enormous cooler. I'm not sure in which slot I should put the second one because it did matter uh, in the older motherboards. But I guess I'll do it like the old way and put it in the third one. Let's apply the thermal compound, a small pea-like amount of it. Why are you not getting out? Should be enough. Should be more than enough, I guess. Don't forget to peel this. 
Do 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 do. Okay. Now what? I guess we need to put this in. Oh jeez, so unstable. I'm not sure that we did it correctly. But hopefully we did. Oh hell no. We did not. Obviously we did not. Crap. Uh, we need to remove everything back. Because we did mess up with these brackets. Good thing though that we got it off because it looks like there is not enough thermal compound here. Let's add some more. And this is the point where the launch screwdriver goes in. Need to be sure not to over tighten the screws. Because I really don't know at which point we should stop. I guess we will feel it when the screw just stops rotating. Okay, everything looks fine. Let's put a second fan in it. Okay, looks pretty solid. Let's put it into the chassis. And we are done. I've cleaned up my cable management a bit, so now all we need to do is plug it in and see if it will post. Ok, the moment of truth. And it's alive! <laughs> and it posts perfectly. Here we can see that it's 8700K. All 16 gigs of RAM. And here's our M.2 drive. I guess it's time to wrap up. Uh, I'll be streaming soon enough. Or maybe I'm already streaming, depending on at which point are you watching this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you liked it, dislike if not. Subscribe. I'll be posting here the videos from the Twitch. See you on the streams. Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. Go give it to you, he go give it to you, X go give it to you.